first came upon a large group of whales, they were just, it was such a surprise for us. And our jaws just dropped. And as these whales lunged up through the surface of the water, we thought, my gosh, it's, they're competing and shoving and fighting. And what's going on here? It was just chaos. There are two large whales in the front, Mama and Rake. They both come up straight up out of the water with their mouths open. You could almost park a little Volkswagen bug in them. They're so huge. And all the herring that escape out the side of those two whales' mouth then falls into the mouths of the whales behind. In 1940, at this very place, hunters almost exterminated the whales. This spectacular collective feeding behavior very nearly disappeared. In fact, it has disappeared everywhere else. Probably one or two survivors, among them Big Mama, retained this behavior in their genes. Half a century later, they pass it on by example to the other whales. weighs 50 tons, you tend to be extra precautious, both for the sake of the whales Get and for the children. Because the whales are so unpredictable and are so oblivious to the presence of a little boat, I never knew when a group of whales were going to lunge right up underneath my little Boston whaler. Mama's 15-ton baby is full of energy and splashes around for joy, pursued by his playmates. Oh, my God. It's like it's a ballet. It's just perfectly secret. 
sun and moon, nobody can sleep. Eyes misty with sea spray refuse to close on this wondrous show put on by Big Mama and her offspring. <laughs> 